Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, remove and replace a uh, keyboard on an HP Envy DV4 laptop. This is the uh, DV4-5220 US model. Uh, so if you have a similar model or the same model, this is, applies to you. Now, you may uh, have uh, a faulty keyboard for whatever reason, you know, somebody spilled a drink in it, whatever. Uh, if you need to replace it, I'm going to show you here how to replace it. And tools you're going to need to do this are, uh, I'm going to be using a precision screwdriver. This is uh, with a Phillips head. This is a Phillips number one and a fairly stiff uh, paper clip like that. Uh, just to uh, as the removal tool for the keyboard. I'll show you how to do that. So what we're going to do first is uh, remove any power cords from the uh, actual device. Uh, we'll close it up here and we'll flip it over and uh, look at the back of the laptop. And at this point, first thing we're going to do is remove the battery and the battery latch is here. So move it to the left and that should lift the battery up a little bit and then you can remove the battery. And next, you move the battery latch one more time all the way to the left, and that will remove the access panel like that. And the access panel moves in that direction, so we'll just lift that and take it off. And now you have access to the actual, some of the innards of the uh, laptop. But uh, basically at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here. So you can see the two screws that we need to remove, which are right here and right here. All right, the two screws are here and here. And, uh, you know, if you're a little, if you, you know, don't really recognize where they're at, they also have a little icon of a keyboard right beside them. I'm not sure whether you can see that on this video or not. Let me uh, zoom in it even more. There we go. And you'll see here and here are the two screws and the icon of a keyboard right beside them. So we're going to take a Phillips screwdriver and uh, unscrew those screws. So go counterclockwise on both of them. And if you have a magnetic screwdriver, then they should lift right out. But uh, next, I'm going to just tip the laptop over and uh, those screws should fall right out. So we're going to do that now. There we go. The two screws came right out. Uh, like I said, if you don't, if it don't come up for you, maybe use a magnet or something powerful to get it out of there. There's the two little screws like that. And uh, now the keyboard is free to be taken out. Now I use a paper clip like this to actually uh, pry the uh, keyboard out and I'll show you that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up the uh, clamshell here about 90 degrees. All right. So we've got the clamshell open about 90 degrees here. Uh, and at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the paper clip to force the, the keyboard out from the back. And what I'll show you how to do that. We'll go to the back and we're going to put the screw, the uh, paper clip in the upper left hand side screw and not the lower one right there. And then put it through the center of the hole where the screw went. And that'll put that'll put you in contact with the keyboard. And at which point I'm just going to push with that uh, paper clip like so. And you see that it lifts the keyboard and, and in the corner as well. And the keyboard lifts up from the rear of the, of the, of the actual laptop. Uh, there's locking tabs on the front. So basically the way the keyboard comes off is at, like so. Okay. And the latches on the front uh, pivot and it hinges up that way. So I've got my finger on it right now and I'm just going to, that's it basically uh, pry on, on the way down. And now as you can see, it pivots on the front latches. And so let's put this down like so and flip the keyboard off. Now, be careful here not to put any, any real strain on this, on this uh, cable. They did give you some length, which is nice. And at this point, what we're gonna do is detach the uh, ribbon cable from the actual motherboard on the laptop. So let me zoom in on that so you can see what that looks like. All right, there we are. And notice here that there's a blue piece of tape on it. The blue tape faces you, 
This is uh, by design. And this brown tab here is the lock. And what I'm going to do is use my little paper clip here to uh, lift that up. So basically put the paper clip under the front or, you know, you can use something. If you have a fingernail, that'll do just fine. And that's it. Lift the latch up and you'll see the ribbon cable underneath is now uh, free to come out. I want to show you a few, a few things here. Uh, the cable has a couple of little shoulders on the top of it. You see it here and here and they go in in front of these little white posts on on there so um, I'll show you that once I pull it out so just at this point just wiggle it out and out it comes and you see the little shoulders on that cable and they go in when they go in they go in underneath and in front of the two little posts on that connector and that is here and here okay so basically take it out replace it put it back in so I'm going to pretend that I've uh, got a new one here I'm going to plug this in again. Remember the blue faces you. Plug it, push it, the ribbon cable in all the way and make sure those shoulders are past those white posts there. And then just lock it down. That's it. The uh, connector's back on again. Now, what you want to do at this point, I'm going to zoom out. And to put the keyboard back in, it's just a reverse process. You see here all these tabs along the front. They go in first underneath like so and then after you've got them in then you lay down the back towards the back end uh, the keyboard and just press it down till it clicks in all the way all the way around the edges like so next we're going to flip over the uh, the laptop here and put those screws back in and again into those two holes with the uh, symbols of the keyboard beside them. Just put those screws in there. One, two, and screw them in clockwise. There we go. So now that the keyboard is nicely secured, we put in our, our uh, cover here for the hard drive and the memory, and it slides in from the front to the back like that so just place it in on top like so and it should be about I don't know a quarter of an inch or a couple of millimeters maybe two or three millimeters off here and then so then once you got it secured down just push it forward or towards the back of the laptop and it'll click in and last we're going to put in the uh, battery pack and we should be ready to go at this point at this point your keyboard is installed basically power up your laptop and test it out and that's how you put it how you replace the keyboard on an hp nv dv4 uh, this is a dv4-5220 us model that's it for my video thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a favor click on the like button right down here and uh you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here and that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.